Hey, how are y'all doing? I, uh, I got my bike here for part of this devotion. Um, and so I, I just started at 7.30. I'll give a couple people a, a second to, to start. Let me come over here and get on a, a bench so I'm not rolling around while we're watching this. It might give you a little motion sickness. But uh, sweet, let me grab my phone here. It's a, it's a nice morning. I thought I'd go out for a bike ride. I've been trying to um, wake up early enough to go for a ride on my bike, uh, and it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> uh, I figure that doing some exercise in the morning might be a nice way to wake up rather than me just rolling out of bed, getting on the computer or something. Um, and so I, I keep trying to wake up in time to do this. There's nowhere really near my neighborhood to ride. Uh, so I'm out near the Doodle Trail in Easley. Nobody else is out here right now. So I'm just hanging out. But um, after this devotion, I figured if I make the bike part of my devotion, then I'd be up early enough to do it. And then if I was already out here, I might as well ride a little bit after this devotion. So we'll see how it goes and, and see how far I get before I get tired. Um, riding a bike is funny though. Uh, it's, it's one of those things that they say that you can never forget how to do. <laughs> Uh, and for me, I'm not sure that that's true. <laughs> um, I remember one time in college, there was a stretch when I got a few speeding tickets in a short span of time, and I was embarrassed and upset, uh, and I told my dad, and he encouraged me to stop driving for a little bit, and maybe ride my bike around campus and to campus around the neighborhood and stuff, and to try to stay out of the car for a little bit and save some money instead of spending it on speeding tickets. Um, and so I, I followed that advice. I got my bike out and I got it out in the parking lot, had my helmet on and I, you know, my parking lot was a little steep. So I, I eased onto the bike and I rolled about three feet before I fell off and busted my chin. <laughs> so that didn't last long. Um, and I, I don't even know what I did with the bike. I probably left it in the, the parking lot ran inside, bandaged up my chin, and got right back in the car. So it didn't last long that I was trying not to drive. Uh, but the good news is I did not get any more speeding tickets that week. Uh, so that was good. But it was funny to me because they they say it's, it's hard, at least, to forget how to, to ride a bike. There's something that your body will remember about the balance or the motions of riding a bike. And that was kind of true, but it, it doesn't mean that you can just stop for 10 years and, uh, and get back on and not fall off, right? Um, so relearning how to ride a bike is a difficult thing sometimes. And I wonder what else in our lives we relearn how to do. Uh, I remember back in March when this pandemic wasn't quite a pandemic yet, I don't think, at least in our country, and it was still rather new to the United States. And everything we saw on TV or in the news or on Facebook was about washing our hands. There were these videos teaching us how to wash our hands. And yet, that hopefully is something that we do every day. <laughs> That's something that we learned in preschool or before preschool, you know, but when we're such a young age, we learn how to wash our hands. And yet here we were back in March in the beginning of a pandemic, relearning how to wash our hands, learning that 20 seconds is a good, a good amount of time to kill a virus, to uh, that relearning, watching these videos of people washing their hands for 20 seconds, getting every little crevice in their fingers. I would have never thought that I would have had to relearn how to wash my hands, but yet here we were in March uh, and still today trying to figure out um, how to have best habits for hygiene. And then in these past few weeks, we, we've been talking a lot about race and racism. Um, and I think the, the underlying issue here is that we need to relearn or even learn for the first time how to love each other. Uh, we've learned some bad habits for how we interact with one another. How can we relearn what it's like to really take care of each other, listen to each other, learn from each other, appreciate each other, affirm each other, 
those kinds of things. It seems pretty simple, uh, and yet I think it's important for us all to take the time and the energy to relearn these things. It reminds me of this verse in the Bible. Jesus is always talking about the kingdom of God, and it's tough to understand what that kingdom will look like. Pastor John had a good sermon a few weeks ago talking about um, eternal life in the kingdom of God is not something that we're just waiting for, but it's something that we're in right now. We're trying to improve and grow into the kingdom of God in this moment. Uh, and in Luke, I, I think it's chapter, I'm on my phone right now and I'm not in front of my computer, I'm in front of my bike. So I don't have the exact verse with me, but I'll post it um, in the description of this video in a minute. But I, I believe it's Luke 14, or Luke 11, 14, I believe, around there. Jesus is talking about humbling ourselves um, for the, the kingdom of God. And they start talking about children around him, and he says, let the children come to me. If you don't enter the kingdom like a child, then what are you doing? You know, that's a paraphrase, obviously. Um, but to enter the kingdom of God like a, a child is important because children are curious, they're innocent, they ask questions, they are prime for learning, um, they don't have many expectations, they love unconditionally, right? Um, so to enter the kingdom of God like a child means to let ourselves go a little bit, um, to be vulnerable, to take the time to relearn the basics of what it's like to love one another. Uh, and I think that's what faith is all about. And I think that's what Jesus spends so much of his time doing, is, is teaching people that it's okay to relearn something. You know, there weren't, the faith wasn't new that Jesus was, was spreading out there. He was just trying to enhance people's understanding of faith. Uh, to enhance under, people's understanding of God, to enhance people's understanding of what it's like to be a community of faith, um, and to take care of one another, I think. Uh, and so it seemed radical, but it was relearning some of the basics of how we were made to be. I think that's important. Um, I think it's important for us to to stop pause, take a look around, maybe ride the bike and, and let it hit our wind in our face a little bit and and just be ready to, to start all over on some things. Um, but that's tough, you know? The good news is we're not here alone. We're here with God and with each other. And so we can build each other up as we do these things. I don't have much more to say and I don't want to ramble because I think I think that's something to sit with. What, what do we need to relearn in our lives um, to be better people of faith, to be better human beings, uh, to trust in God better than we do right now? What do we need to relearn? Sit with that for a little bit and, um, and see what, what it brings into your day today. I didn't pray at the beginning of this. I was too busy pumping air in my tires and I, I was a little bit late. Uh, and so I'm going to pray now and then let's go about our days. I'm going to go ride my bike for at least five minutes <laughs> and uh, see if I can develop a new habit, a new routine. Um, and you guys do whatever you do to have a routine and um, don't be afraid to relearn something today. Let us pray. Holy God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the rain yesterday. Thank you for the warmth. Thank you for the cool breezes and the heat. Thank you for this world that we have been given to live in. We ask for your spirit to move us and guide us, to humble us and to teach us, to help us have the courage to, to relearn some things in our lives, to have the courage to really love one another, have the courage to really trust you um, give us faith like a child so that we are curious and excited and eager and full of 
joy and help us to to really know you um, by by loving each other in Jesus name we pray amen thanks y'all uh, and just in case my mom was watching I am wearing my helmet uh, before I go on this bike ride so love you guys uh, have a great day God bless <laughs>